The setting of the Hydro X Prix not only provided a poignant backdrop for the sport, but also raised awareness of climate change and global solutions. This restored former coal mine is set to transform into a pump storage hydropower plant and wind farm. Therefore, the environmental theme for this race location was energy, a field in which Scotland and Extreme E are pioneers. Scotland's part of the whole collection of Northern Hemisphere land areas that are experiencing steep warming. And the Northern Hemisphere land areas are warming so much faster than anywhere else on the planet. But also seeing a shift in rainfall we're seeing more rainfall delivered in shorter periods of time and that imposes a great stress on the environment and we expect that trend to continue way out until the end of the century. The reason that we have climate change is because of carbon emissions, because of energy and transport needs. Solving the climate problem at source requires us to generate energy in a different way and through renewables in the case of electricity. And we're proud to say that in the case of Extreme E, our race site has 100% of its needs met with renewables. So we've got behind me the Anoa hydrogen fuel cell that's powering the site, uh, along with the solar panels that are on the floor. The Extreme E paddock power setup is a world first. The primary sources of energy on the site comes from the solar panels and the Anoa hydrogen fuel cell. The energy generated from those two sources is stored in the batteries that are on site before it goes out to the whole site, powering the extremely cars in the garages, catering, hospitality, event control, race control. And the rest of the site energy for the broadcast infrastructure comes from solar powered systems into the batteries. And then we've got live monitoring and it helps us A, see if there's any problems and also future proof the event because we understand where the energy demands are going to grow. Beyond 2024, the innovation will continue with Extreme H ready to thrill fans for Season 5 with a new generation of hydrogen-powered race cars. I think everybody should be excited about Extreme H. This is the future of sport, entertainment and the way that we can do this with uh, extremely low or no impact on the environment. Hydrogen brings a significant advantage compared to direct electrification for all of these events. It allows the vehicles to run potentially longer range and have greater torque in the vehicles themselves. People are always going to be wanting to see how we can push ourselves further, faster, harder. But to be able to do this now with a zero emission narrative is fantastic. And that's what Extreme H will allow us to do. Scotland's one of the elite club of countries that produces an enormous amount of its electricity needs through renewables. In 2021, 97% of its electricity needs came from renewables. And by 2050, its hopes are to decarbonize the energy needs completely. Scotland serves as a magnificent example that in a short space of time, with talent and skills and resource, you can solve the energy problem.